Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Here we are at the Computer Nook in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, where I'm going to be having a battle against Mark and his Eldar. Um, yeah, I'm up here on business and we're having a game. 1500 points. This is going to be the table setup. We just set it up in a nice um, thematic manner. And uh, 1500 points. I'll start with my army. So, my army for 1500 points. You guys know this well and true. I have Mr. Archon with four Incubi and a Venom. Um, I have six Reaver Jet Bikes with a Champion, Venom Blade, two Heat Lancers. Ten Warriors with a Splinter Cannon Blaster and a Farseer. Today he has Runes of Warding and two Powers, which I'll swap out for Divination. Three Eldar Jet Bikes. Two Five Man Witch Squads with Haywire Grenades. Two Venoms with Grizzly Trophies. A Ravager with three Lances. Knight Shields and Grizzly Trophies. My Razorwing Stock. A Raider with a Knight Shield with eight warriors in it with splinter rifles and the eight Helions. And that is 1,500 points. Mark's 1,500 points. This is Mark. Say hi, Mark. Hey, guys. Hey. So tell us, what do you have in your list today? Okay. Uh, for troops, I have two squads of Pathfinders, uh, Guardians and Dire Avengers. And then my Farseer with uh, Fortune and Guide, uh, heavy hitting unit of Dark Reapers, and one Warwalker. The Dire Avengers are going to be in the Wave Serpent with the Farseer. And uh, the Fire Dragons are going to be in my Wave or Falcon. And the Fire Dragon has the Flamer. Okay, well, uh, enjoy. We haven't rolled for mission yet. We'll be right back with deployment and mission. We are playing Big Guns Never Tie with a Dawn of War deployment. One objective was set up in that little building. One objective was set up in that crater in the middle of the board, and one objective was set up on this rhino. There was only three that we rolled for. Uh, Warlord Traits. The Eldar Farseer is very tenacious, and him and his unit receive Feel No Pain within three inches of an objective. My Warlord is a, has given target priority, so all units within 12 inches of him um, reroll ones when shooting at something that's within, that is controlling an objective. And uh, the Eldar have chosen to go first, and they are now deploying. And when we return, uh, we'll go over deploy. Dark Eldar, Reaver jet bikes on the flank. By the way, it is night fight, turn one. Raider with warriors inside. Venom with witches. Ten guys, Smith Counter Blaster, Farsia. Raider with witches. Venom, and by Raider I mean Venom, and Venom. Venom with Incubi, and my Ravager. On the Eldar side, Falcon with Fire Dragons, Wave Serpent with Farseer and Dire Avengers, lots of Guardians with Conceal, uh, Dark Reapers, uh, War Walker, and two Infiltrating Pathfinders that we will show where they are before the first turn. And in reserve, I have my Razorwing, my Eldar Jet Bikes, and my Helions are deep striking again because that's always fun. The Pathfinders showed up in the little bunker on the hill and the forest to the west and opened fire on the Venom doing nothing and on the Reaver jet bikes killing three of the number and uh, luckily the jet bikes resolve held and they did not fall back and then the Wave Serpent and the Falcon turbo boosted more in a central position. Another bit of shooting saw the Scatter Laser fire at that Venom to no effect. This raider moved up six inches. The raider fired at the wave serpent and failed to hit. The warriors filed into the pathfinders and killed one. Meanwhile, the reaver jet bikes boosted over on the shooting phase and did five wounds, but the pathfinders held firm and did not lose any of their number. The witches decided to get out and try and get a eight inch charge on that falcon. They threw in a haywire grenade, knocking off a hull point and then failed to charge in, um, even with the fleet reroll. My Farsia got perfect timing off, which is ignoring cover uh, through runes of warding, which meant that these, these fire warriors, I mean these fire warriors, these cabalite warriors, shot into those pathfinders and killed two out of five. Uh, the incubi venom boosted up onto that flank this Venom and the other Witch Venom both fired into the uh, Dark Reapers, killing three out of five. And Mark needs to take a morale test for them. So they uh, they lost 20, at least 
and they hold. So they're not going to go anywhere. And those guys over there need to take a test. Ooh. And they fail. So we're, they're going to have to fall back a bit. And the Ravager actually f shot into the Wave Serpent on that end, but failed to hit with all three lances. The Reaver Jet Bikes are gone. A combination of shooting from the Dire Avengers and the Reaper Launchers and the Pathfinders knocked them all out. Uh, the Warwalker, which I'd forgotten about next turn, blew up the Venom with the Incubi, and then their shooting from here, the uh, Guardian unit shooting, shot into the Archon, killed all Incubi, and left the Archon by himself. Um, this Falcon moved up, unloaded the Fire Dragons, who then fired and killed 8 out of 10 of that unit with a Flamer and uh, guns. I didn't make any saves there, no! Uh, they did not fail the morale test. He did not fail his morale test back there, the Archon, and the Witches did not fail the morale test, and they lost 4 to their number to the Falcon. And now we're moving on to Dark Eldar, turn 2, and we're doing reserves. So, the Razor Wing shows up, the Eldar Jet Bikes show up, and the Helions show up. Okay, so all the reserves have showed up. Raider moved over and blew up the Falcon, and then all hell happened for the Eldar. Um, my Farseer uh, misfortuned the big unit of Guardians that then got blasted by the Razor Wing and the Helions that lost one of their number of the Deep Striking, murdering the entire unit. My Ravager got a good pot shot off at the Scatter Walker and killed it. My Archon and everything on over here kind of shot and killed the Exarch with shooting, then charged in. One Fire Dragon is left alive. <clears throat> My Archon actually missed all six saves. The Eldar jet bikes kind of moved on to this corner over here, and I relatively just ignored this area over here. The Eldar Wave Serpent moved over and put two hull points on that raider and blew off its gun and immobilized it. The warriors then got out uh, after the pathfinders didn't shoot anything and killed one pathfinder from that unit that they could see. In the center of the field the fire dragon went down to the archons venom blade finally they got a pain token he joined the witch unit and now moving towards that objective. Both venoms have fired into the pathfinders to no avail. The ravager for the second time in a row missed with all three shots when he tried to shoot that Wave Serpent, the Eldar Jet Bikes are just sitting there in the back waiting for the game to go to objectives. The Razor Wing zoomed up here, ready to turn and do a strafing run on that side of the board, and the Helions moved out of the forest, lost another one of their number, and then ran five inches this way to threaten the uh, Dark Reapers that are in the back there holding that objective. Campbellite Warriors moved up and ran. Uh, the Pathfinders rallied and snapshot at the flyer but didn't do anything. The flyer in turn moved up and blasted two out of the sky. One has gone to ground but is going to try and take him out with one lucky shot into the pilot. I, the Ravager has successfully immobilized that Wave Serpent. The, everything's moved up to take objectives. The Cabalites have moved up here. The Incubi, the Archon and his Witches have moved up here. And the Jet Bikes have moved back to this area here in order to uh, and the Hellions, of course, were pinned, so they've just sitting there. The fortune, gui uh, fortune guided Dire Avengers blade stormed into my witch unit and Archon, knocking out his shadow field, killing everybody, giving him one, leaving him at one wound, and then the Wave Serpent um, knocked him out. In and of course the Dark Reapers killed two more of the Hellions and pinned them again. Um, sadly, the Pathfinder did not snapshot the fly down, who then flew off the board in case there's another turn. The Venom and Ravager moved up to block movement into that objective, and the Farseer and his warriors moved on to that objective. These Eldar jetbikes stayed back in case it goes to another turn, and we're going to be rolling to see if it goes on to turn six. And it does! Uh, that Farseer and his boys stayed put. The Eldar jet bikes moved up into the corner just to threaten everything because they move like nobody's business. The tanks moved up. The Ravager finally destroyed the Wave Serpent. The Venom killed the Exarch. The Razor Wing showed up again and killed a couple of, of uh, Dire Avengers because the Farseer lookout served everything. These Cabalite Warriors moved up, charged into the lone Pathfinder, consolidated into that crater. The Helion, uh, one Helion survived the, vo the other volley. 
he moved out, shot, didn't kill anybody, tried to do a 12 inch charge into the Dark Reapers in the back here, and failed. And now we're gonna try and get roll to see if it goes on to turn seven. Does it go on? And it does! <laughs> and we'll be back after this. <laughs> the Farseer and Die Avengers moved up to that objective, tried to hunker down, but all the Dark Eldar shooting and Eldar shooting knocked them off the objective. Um, in the back here, we had the Warriors and the Helion charge into the Exarch and his Reaper, but they survived all the flurry of attacks and shots and everything that I threw at them, and uh, they are bravely left at the end of the game. <laughs> So, victory to the Dark Elder. Thanks a lot, Mark, for having us over, for having me right. over here. That Thank was you. a pleasure, absolute pleasure. Uh, whenever you guys are up here in Sudbury, Ontario, come down to the game uh, computer nook. They have lots of space for tables, uh, great terrain, uh, great guys to hang out with. Their gaming nights are, of course, Friday night and Saturday night. Uh, so, come on over if you are in the area and uh, come play some games. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, as always, you can check out the blog, uh, podcast site, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel already, do so. Uh, be one of more than 530 people who have decided that they like watching what I do. Okay, well, have a great day. Enjoy, and see you next time.